Hey guys and welcome to Wrestling Days. So I wanted to do another pay-per-view poster review and I am really looking forward to this one because this is for an event that some of you might not have heard of before. Uh, this is from uh, 95 to 1998, it's WCW. And if you think that the Royal Rumble is the ultimate multi-man event, think again. In WCW in the mid to late 90s, there was an event called World War III. Now, World War III had three rings and it had 60 wrestlers, 20 in each ring, and it was basically a battle royal. So as soon as you went over the top rope, you were out. And then the last person standing in any of the rings was the winner. And... Uh, you know, this was a big event. This was kind of WCW's Royal Rumble. Um, the rules changed over time, so it wasn't that it was, you know, over the top rope. It then became, if you just left the ring, you were eliminated. Uh, also, then, I think it was 98, they said that if you were pinned or submitted, you'd be eliminated as well. So it wasn't just straight over the top rope like what the Royal Rumble is. But this is, and you know, three rings. This is a mammoth 60 competitor uh, battle. Um, and I believe it's on the network. I've not, I've not looked for it to tell the truth, but I've, um, I've heard that it's on there. So uh, it's definitely one that I'll go and uh, watch back. Um, but how did they promote this? Uh, what poster did they use? Um, I think for I think it was the 1996 one. Uh, how how did they you know get across this three ring 60 competitor uh, competition? They did it like that. Uh, why? I don't understand. Uh, total destruction. Okay. Now that's the line they've gone for and I can see what they're doing here. They've got a mansion and uh, they've, you know, destroyed it, but it's not destroyed. It's still standing and there's no people in this. There's no, there's mention at the top, it says about 60 competitors, three rings, you know, one opportunity, one chance, whatever, but there's no, it, you know, it doesn't conjure it up, does it? You know, if you looked at that poster, you wouldn't you wouldn't read the fine print, would you? It doesn't tell you or get you excited for the event. I think what they were trying to do is at the same time as this, WWF were doing in your house events. So I think this is a little dig by WCW to go, well look, they've they've got in your house, but ours is, you know, a destroyed mansion, so you want to watch ours because ours is better. Um ours is more destructive. Uh, we're not in your house. We're destroying your house. I think that's what they were trying to say But it doesn't come across that way. It doesn't work that way They should have just been focused more on their product and focused on them rather than WWF and and that was the problem That's really where WCW became unglued was that they weren't focused on what they were doing They were worrying too much about WWE WWF um, and that comes across in this poster had they have got somewhere on their picture of three rings, a picture of 60 superstars, well, you'd, you'd want to watch it, wouldn't you? I mean, I'd want to jump onto the network right now, uh, but it's it's not it's not been laid out that way. It's so frustrating. Um, and in truth, they didn't get this right at any point. I think 97 was the best year. Um, this is 95, which frustrates me just as much because you've got one of the biggest wrestlers of the 90s and they cover his face with the the text. Um, I just don't understand why you couldn't have seen Sting and then, you know, had the, the message uh, about what the match was all about underneath or to the side or whatever. Put it on his face. Um, and then, obviously, you've just had a look at uh, 96. 97, I think, was probably the best one because it looks a little bit more like the Rumble. You've got quite a few superstars on there. Um, uh, but 98, you know, just focused on the main event match. Didn't even focus on uh, the actual World War Three match. Um, what's funny about this Mansion one as well, and the ones after it, is this is the second edition, or the second uh, time they've done World War Three. It just starts getting a bit confusing as well, doesn't it? You know, 
Welcome to the 20th World War 3. It's like, mm, I couldn't, couldn't you have found a better name as well? Cool. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be brilliant if you did because we've got loads more of these um, on the way. And uh, who knows, might even do a review of World War 3 and uh, have a look at it in a little bit more detail. But uh, certainly these posters don't make me want to go and check it all out. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.